Hello, you wonderful, beautiful, and craptastic people. Craptastic Jack here today. We are on Armor 3. Like, Armor 3 is not a racing game, you may be saying, but, um, basically, why are we on Armor 3 when you're a racing channel? Well, there's a DLC that came out for Armor 3 a while ago, um, that adds carts, and we're, and it comes with a bunch of tracks. Now, this is one of probably some of the strangest DLC that's ever come out in a game. But it has to do something with racing. So yes, that's why we're playing it. No one else in the racing community has done this. So, and if they have, then they're probably bad. So this is the only good channel that's done it. So yes, we're today we're going to be doing Arma Karts. To kick off the new year 2016, we're going to be doing Arma Karts. So yes, without further interruptions, let us begin. Go. All right. So, basically, Arma Three cards. It's um the way you, it these cards feel a lot lighter than what most vehicles on this game feel like. And um, I like a lot of military type games like Call of Duty. I like a lot of first person shooters mainly if they're like more military based. It, like and then especially with Arma, I like a lot of simulations as well. I don't know, like, Arma is just such a great game. You got the campaigns, you got the, like, you got people making their own campaigns, you got all that good stuff. Like, if you like military, um, alright, we're gonna try and get a gold here. Um, oh god, game, fro game froze there for a second, I, I messed up, Ugh. But if you like military simulation video games, then Arma's the game for you. And then also, once you learn how to use the, the in-game editor, you can make your own missions, and they're f and it's fun as hell. Um, it only took me like an hour to learn the editor, but why am I rambling about actual Arma when we're doing Arma carts? We're trying to get a gold medal, which is 18 seconds. Uh, that last lap I did, I messed up because the game froze there for a second. Uh, and looks like I'm not going to be making it, whatever. Uh, let's go on to the other courses. There's a bunch more courses. We're going to try the Kavala one. Which is the Kavala circuit. And you just go there to exit the challenge and move on to the next trial. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so basically, Kavala is basically the biggest city on the map that Arma 3 takes place on. So basically, it's a good place to put a track for carts. Now, I do want to point out that these, these cars do have a lot of oversteer. And if that's the correct word, it might be understeer. I'm not too sure. And uh, game is freezing up a bit there. But yeah, this game isn't the best performance-wise, mainly because there's like a, a lot of stuff, especially when you're like a oosh, yeah, and shit. Yeah, like when I'm losing a bunch of frames, taking these corners isn't good. And my my card is wrecked. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. All right, let's do this. Alright, freaking race marshal. Alright, now this is actually a sprint. It's not a circuit. So we have to get from one point of the city to the other in a, in a good amount of time. Without crashing. I was able to do it before. I don't know why I did so shittily. Sh oh god. But I don't know why I did so shittily back there. But, like, the funny thing with that crash sound effect. Um. <laughs> You can hear glass breaking, but there's no glass on my cart, nor on the sidewalk, so... Kinda doesn't make any sense. Oh shit. This is like a really short alleyway there. I mean, oh my god. And what the physics? Of course this game doesn't have the best physics. I mean, for car, for cars, or vehicles, it doesn't have the best. I mean, after all, this is a military simulation game. It's not a racing sim, it's not a karting sim, it's not the next Mario Kart. But, so I can't really blame it, but still. I mean, the fact that they actually brought, like, let me give you a backstory on why there's actually a carding DLC for this game. It was actually meant as a, like, joke, like, um, a April Fool's joke a while ago. But people actually wanted it, so <laughs> why not give it to the people and then charge it as DLC, but whatever. That's the backstory on how this carding DLC came to light. People actually wanted it. Ooh, that didn't sound good. I just literally tapped like a bit over the curb and it's like. 
Okay, finish line's up here. I got a way better time than I did. Oh, God! What was that? Okay. Uh, well, then, I think we're going to end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to rate, comment, favorite, subscribe. And tell me what you want to see more of in the comments. And I'll hopefully be able to deliver it. Um, and yes, that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good one.